was most often names of one's God. To serve us were used to establish identity, admit identity as the elect, admit entry into the kingdom, right? Give permission or allow privileges. Metamorphosis by Ovid, we went to Ovid before in different shows. It says, a custom was of old and still remains which lie, which life or death by suffrages ordains. White stones and black would then uh, in urn are cast. They would take these white and black stones and put it in the urn, shake it up, take it out, and I'll let you know your judgment. The first absolve, but fate is the last. Which absolve, absolve, is set or declares someone free from guilt or responsibility. That's what the white stone represents. In this instance, tesserahs were used to prove truth or give judgment. The Bible contains one of the earliest mention of, um, just down. Okay. It says, um, all the historic uses of the white stone are found in the history of Greece and Rome. Thrace had an interesting custom of marking good days with the white stone. Also, following the Olympic Games, winners arrived in their native cities were given a parade of honor and a huge victory celebration, at which time, cha at which time champion, each champion was presented with the white stone that bore his name. Possessing such a stone entitled him to be maintained at the public expense for the rest of his life. We're going to have to lay back, and guess what? We're going to be at the public expense, the public of the rest of the world, because they're going to give us their riches. You can get the forces of the Gentiles. Remember that? Isaiah 60th chapter. The Romans used white stones as admission tickets to public festivals and assemblies. Gladiators drew stones locked before entering the arena. Those who drew a white stone were released from performing. In the Roman courts, a panel of judges decided their verdict by displaying either a white stone or a black stone in the palm of their hand. A white stone indicated innocence, and the black stone meant guilt. The most stones of either color rendered the final judgment. So whatever the stone, whatever, uh, you had a bunch of these stones, whatever the stones appeared most, that was your judgment. More black stones, you're guilty. More white stones, you're innocent. The Latin expression, tesserae hospitals, hospital, which means hospitality tablets, comes from a, um, from small, comes from a small, a piece of wood, bone, ivory, or stone, that was divided into two equal parts by two parties. Wishing to make an agreement, covenant, of friendship. Each part took one half of the bone, white stone, etc., wrote his own name on it, and then exchanged it to the other party's half of the white stone. Later, when either party made a journey that took them, says Tak, them into the other's territory, upon arriving at the border, that the half of white stone was presented to the watchman. Immediately, the visiting party would be given the best hospitality of a safe passage. So it said one took one half and then somebody took the other half. Because when you got there, the two white stones, it'll be meet. They'll be met. Right, so you put like a, like an indenture, like a letter of indenture servitude. It'll be made in a certain way for it to be able to be put together like that. And it said immediately the visiting party. Wait a minute. Hold on, I get that scripture real quick. I believe it's Luke. I'm sorry, um Luke, um Luke, um Go to the book of uh, Luke, in t Luke chapter 12, verse 36. It says, um, And ye yourselves, like unto men that wait for the Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Because why? Those stones will be will make will, of those two parties. You have a stone divided into two equal parts to make an agreement or covenant of friendship. Each part took one half of the bone or stone and wrote his name on it and exchanged it for the other party's half. I his mine, his yours. And then when you arrive at the border, the white stone, this half of the white stone will be presented to the watchman. And you have, and, the, and they will have the other half. And a name written on it. So therefore they'll know, okay, these two pieces come together. Because both names are written on this one stone. And this one stone was split in two. So now that you arrive into this territory at, the, at my borders, we put them together. Okay, yeah. Come right in. And immediately, the visiting party will be given the best hospitality and safe passage. That's why Yahweh Shah said, what? Blessed, um, speak about, um, be like men that wait for their Lord. And when you knock it, you're going to open immediately. Because that's what happened when you had the white stone. So it's like we got one part of the white stone. Yahweh Shah will give us the other part of the white stone. And meet him at his coming. And open immediately. And um, it said it said friendship, a covenant of friendship. John. 
15 and 14, right? What do you have? What should I say about friends? He said, Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not that what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. A little bit more. Um, that was a point on that. And I'll go to this last one. Almost after this, we we be finished. No, well. It says in... Um, Facing, oh, that's a weird ass name for a website, Facing Sex Addiction, which has absolutely nothing to do with the article <laughs> at all. But it says, uh, in, in ancient times, the white stone, whether in rough, tablet, or tesserae, mosaic, the tile form, symbolized multiple, t multiple things. In some, it could signify a decisive vote in one's favor, a judgment of innocence, a reprieve from death, a covenant of safe passage, a celebratory welcome for, for a visitor. Honorable, and we're going to celebrate when you have a shock. I bet scripture tell you you're going to rejoice with joy unspeakable. Um, so what will we elect, you know? A covenant of safe passage, a celebratory welcome for a victor, honorable status with free privileges, and religiously as a new and everlasting identity known only by and in, in, in intimately in the Most High, and finally an, in, uh, an eternal hospitality with the Most High. I know I'm being kind of fast, I'm going to get to the point. All together, the white stone represents a new identity, election. Innocence, safe passage, security, victory, honor, privilege, and hospitality. It's good information on the webpage, but it says, basically it says um, almost everything that the last webpage said. So I'm trying to get right to the point. The difference, different things I mentioned here that wasn't mentioned on the last page. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, she, um, says about the same thing. Yeah, we really said the same thing. Um, so I already got a reason that on that because uh, it basically says it basically says the same exact thing that was said on the uh, last page. You know, but like it, like I said, it said um, it says the white stone represented a reprieve from death. Reprieve meaning cancel, or postpone the punishment because we all sin. And sin is the way to the death. So that white stone represents being what? Being reprieved from death, meaning being canceled or postponed from death. And we'll go to this last page. I'm about to finish right now. Or well, we can put that scripture up in post-production when it says, um, you know, sin is the way to the death. It says www.infoplease.com, white stone. Days, I was reading kind of fast because I, you know, due to the interest of time. So hopefully brothers is able to follow me. It says white stone. Days marked with the white stone, days of pleasure. Days to be remembered with gratification. The Romans used a white stone or piece of chalk to mark their lucky days with on the calendar. Those that were unlucky, they marked with black chalk or lower door show on that. Because the ancient Roman calendars, they would have these red letter days. Red letter days would be memorable days or honorable days or holy days or holidays would be marked with red letters. That's why, and they were also marked with white chalk or white stone. But going back to the red letters, why are you thinking today's calendars, holidays are marked with what? Red letters. I go to show America's Rome all over again. It says white stone. Um, in primitive times, um, when traveling was difficult for one of places of public accommodation, hospitality was exercised by private individuals to a great extent. When the guest left, the host gave him a small white stone cut in two. Um, on, on one half, the host wrote his name, and on the other, the guest. The host gave the guest the half containing his host name, and vice versa. This was done that the guest at some future time might return the favor. If indeed, our text says, uh, and this makes mention of the scripture basically. You know, so with that, uh, we're going to close. You know, hope you brothers learn something. You know, hope praise the Al Bashmi Al Shah. You know, Shalom to, you know, the elect, double out to the positive GMS. Shalom. See you next time. We will. Shalom.